Look, it's a matter of life or death. Relax, Archie. Relax. Yes, here he is again. The unsuspecting millions of readers of Archie Comics magazine know and love so well. Brought to you by Swift and Company, makers of Swift, Green, and Frank. Archie Andrews, all his gang. guarantee of perfection. Swift's premium franks now come to you cellophane wrapped in handy one-pound packages. Made fresh daily in Swift kitchens from coast to coast, Swift's premium franks are then wrapped in the new handy sanitary flavor saver pack and brought to you at the very peak of their tantalizing flavor with all their natural goodness sealed in. So kids, tell your mom that you want Swift's premium franks. And mom, get some today. They're delicious. And you'll be glad to know that Swift's premium franks are economical. There's no waste to them. Every bite is all nourishment, all meat. Ask for them today. Swift's premium franks in the sanitary one-pound package. And now for our weekly visit to Riverdale. It's Friday night as we're looking on the Andrews' home. Late Friday night. Mr. and Mrs. Andrews are in their bedroom, sound asleep, when... Ah! What was that? Uh, uh, Fred! Fred, did you hear someone scream? It was in Archie's room. Fred? Oh, fine. I'll have to go in there and see what's wrong. Archie, what's the matter? Are you all right? Archie, what's the trouble? Archie? <laughs> Hey. He's sleeping. Well, I might as well. Get away from me or I'll let you have it. Archie, I'll Archie. make another move. Archie, I'm warning you. Archie, I'll Archie. tell you after. Archie. Archie, for pity's sake, wake up. Oh, who is it? What's the matter? That's what I want to know. A minute ago, you screamed like someone was killing you, and now you're shooting people with machine guns. Who, me? Yes, you. Gee, I guess I was dreaming, Ma. Oh, yeah, I remember now. I was fighting Indians. What? Indians. You know. <laughs> Archie, not so loud. You'll wake your father. Oh, okay, Ma. But boy, what a dream, Ma. I was leading a bunch of covered wagons across the prairies, and we got ambushed by ten million Indians. How many? Well, I didn't stop to count them. But a million at least. We formed a circle and took cover behind the wagon. And then the Indians attacked. Bang, 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 bang. All around us, we kept killing Indians. Bing, bang, bing, 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 bang, bing, 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 bang. Bing, bang. Archie, I get the idea. You were killing Indians. And how? And then my machine gun jammed. Machine gun? In those days? Whose dream is this? <laughs> oh, all right. Go ahead, but not so loud, oh, Okay, Mom, okay. And when my machine gun jammed, I knew there was only one thing to do. What? I knew our only hope was to get the leader of the Indians. The leader? Yeah, Chief Rain in the face. So I put my trusty Bowie knife between my teeth. Yes. But it didn't taste so good, so I put it in my hand. Yes. And slowly I crawled out of the circle of wagons. Yes. To where Chief Wayne and the face were standing, directing his warriors. Yes. And slowly I raised my knife. Yes. And just as I was about to attack, he saw me. What did he do? He grabbed his tomahawk and... He was that! <laughs> well, for pity's sake, Fred, what are you doing here? Well, I, I I heard all the noise, and I came in here to find out what the dickens was going on. I didn't know I'd walk right into the French and Indian War. I said, no French, just Indian. Archie, never mind. Fred, Archie had a bad dream, and he was telling me about it. Now, Mom, why do you say a bad dream? I thought it was a swell dream. Well, bad dream or swell dream, is this any time to be telling it? Oh, Fred, I thought if the boy got it off his chest, he'd sleep better. Oh, well, all right. But for Pete's sake, now that he has told us, let's go back to sleep. Yes, dear. I, are you all right now, son? Sure, Mom. All right. Come on, Fred. We'll go back to bed. All right. But, Archie, one thing. Yes, Dad? What did the chief do after he saw you? Oh, that. You mean just as I was slowly creeping up on him with my trusty Bowie knife? Yes. And he turned and grabbed his tomahawk? Uh huh. That's when I woke up. <laughs> oh, fine. Come on, Mary. Let's go back to sleep. Yes, dear. I've never heard of anything like this. Indians and dreams in the middle of the night. Well, there are most people dream in the middle of the night, you know. Yes, I know, dear. But why couldn't he finish the story? Oh, Fred, don't be silly. 
Now get into bed. I'll turn the light off. I am. I am. <laughs> Good night, dear. Good night. <sighs> Mary. Mm-hmm. Yes, dear? Are you hiccuping? Am I what? Hiccuping. Mm-hmm. Sure, don't be silly. I thought I heard you hiccup. But I'm not hiccuping. I'll go to sleep. All right, then. All right. <laughs> Mary. Hmm? I thought you said you were not hiccuping. I said I'm not. But I heard it. Fred, you're imagining things. Now go to sleep. All right, dear. All right. <laughs> Fred? Hmm? Are you sure you're not hiccuping? Me? Mm-hmm. Mary, don't be silly. But I just heard it. There it is again. Oh, for pity's sake, it's Archie. Archie? Yes. Archie! Yes, Mom? Is that you hiccuping? No, it sure is, Mom. For pity's sake. Fred, I'll have to go see what's wrong. Oh, me. Dreams and Indians and now hiccups. Archie, what's the matter, dear? Gee, I don't know, Mom. I just keep hiccuping. Well, that dream probably got you too excited. Gee, with what's my dream got to do with hiccup? Well, I don't know, but when people get excited, they sometimes start hiccuping. Oh, gee, that's silly. Well, we'll have to stop them or we'll never get to sleep. Uh, Fred, bring me a glass of water, please. What? I said bring me a glass of water. What for? Fred, I'm trying to do something for Archie's hiccup. What did his hiccups ever do for us? <laughs> Fred, this is no time to be funny. Go get the water, dear. Oh, me, all right, Mary. All right. <laughs> Now, Archie, try holding your breath while I count ten. That sometimes stops it. But, Mom, I... Archie, just do as I say, dear. Hold your breath. Okay, Mom. <gasps> holding it? Mm-hmm. All right. Now, uh, now, don't let it out till I say ten. Understand? Yeah. All right. One, two, three... It's water, Barry. It's... What the dickens is he doing? Holding his breath. All right. Just stop the hiccup. Four. Holding his breath to stop hiccups. Mary, that's Fred, the way to do it. Fred, be quiet. I'm trying to count. Four. Mary, I know it's your way to cure hiccups. Mm. Fred, would you let me finish this? But it won't work. It will too. It will not. It will so. Never in a million years. <laughs> See, do, do I have to hold my breath that long? Oh, for pity's sake. Fred, now you spoiled it. Spoiled what? <laughs> Mary, there is only one way to cure hiccups, and that's to drink this glass of water down in one swallow. I was going to try that next. That's why I asked you to bring the water. You should have done that first. Anything else was a waste of time. Well, here, here, Archie. Now drink this down, and your hiccups will be gone. But, Dad, I'm not thirsty. Uh, Archie, you drink it whether you're thirsty or not. We can't stay up all night listening to you hiccup. She was okay, Jimmy. Here, now, now, don't stop your fence at all. <laughs> That's right. Keep going. Head boy. Get it all down. Don't stop oh. now. Just a little more. There we are, good boy. Oh. <laughs> there. Now your hiccups are all gone, or my name isn't Fred Andrews. <laughs> uh, call me Joe. Oh, Mary, I give up. You'll just have to let the boys hiccups stop by themselves. But that could go on all night. Fred, I want you to call a doctor. At this hour, Mary, it's 11 o'clock. Well, I know it, but we've got to do something. Yes, but you can't... <laughs> Mary, you can't go... You can't go... I'll call the doctor. <laughs> You know, when some people have the hiccups, they just have the hiccups. But when my son has a hiccup, oh, 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 we have to call an ambulance. Oh, operator. Get me a Riverdale. Uh, uh, Mary, what's the doctor's number? Uh, 243, I think. Riverdale 243, I think. Operator. Uh, no. Fine thing. Go waking the doctor up at this hour for hiccups. I, I miss the... Oh, oh yeah. hello, Dr. Higgins. Uh, this is Fred Andrews, sir. Uh, Doctor, I'm really terribly sorry to wake you. I never would have, but my wife insisted that I... Uh, what? Oh, what was the trouble? Yes, I was getting to that. It's, it's my son, Doctor. He's got the hiccups. Yeah. I said hiccups. Yeah, that's right. And the... Uh, what? Is a bicarbonate? Oh, is that all? Oh, all right, Doctor. Thanks a lot. Bye. What do you say here? <laughs> no, he didn't. He said, give Archie a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda in a glass of water. Bicarbonate? Mm-hmm. Now, why didn't I think... Oh, good heavens, we don't have any. Yeah, what? There isn't a bit of bicarbonate in the house. Oh, great. Mary, I'm glad you had me wake Dr. Higgins so he could tell us to give Archie some bicarbonate, which we can't give him because we don't have any bicarbonate. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, but that picking at this hour is getting on my nerves. Well, never mind your nerves. I'll have to call Betty. Call the Marines if you want. Call who? Betty! We'll have to borrow some bicarbonate. At this hour? Oh, now, Mary, you can't go around waking up the whole town just because your son has hiccup. Fred, if the doctor says Archie needs bicarbonate, he's going to get bicarbonate. The doctor didn't say he needs it, dear. He said try it. Well, it's the same thing. Uh, operator, get me Riverdale 647, please. How do you feel now, Archie? Rotten. Well, don't you worry, dear. We'll soon have it. Hello, Betty. This is Mrs. Andrews, dear. Did I wake you? Oh, I'm awfully sorry, dear. And I wouldn't have bothered you, but it's important. Something wrong, Mrs. Andrews? Yes, Archie has a hiccup. The what? The hiccup. And the doctor said bicarbonate is good for hiccups. But we don't have any. Hiccups are bicarbonate. Bicarbonate. Do you have any? Oh, sure, Mrs. Andrews. Want me to bring it over? Well, it is not too much trouble, dear. Oh, no, Mrs. Andrews. Glad to. Be right over. All right, dear. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. There, Fred. You see, Betty didn't mind my calling her at all. Archie, how do you feel now? <laughs> Same. Well, as soon as Betty gets you... Oh, dear. That couldn't be Betty already. Well, who else could it be at this hour? Well, I don't know. Fred, go see who it is. I can't go to the door in my nightgown. Well, I can't go to the door in my nightshirt. <laughs> Never mind, Mom. I'll go. Well, all right, dear. You feel all right? Oh, sure. But I sure wish Betty would get here with that by cop. I'd sure like to get to sleep. Oh, Archie, we're in complete agreement on that score. I won't do it. Hello, Archie. Gee, Mr. Sherry. I was just passing by, Archie, and I saw the lights, and it's so late, I got worried. <laughs> Beg pardon? I said... <laughs> Archie, do you have the hiccups? Uh-huh. I had a bad dream, and I... Well, it got me so upset, I've been hiccuping ever since. Gee, that's funny. I had a dream just last night. You did? Yes, sir, but it wasn't a bad dream at all. You know what I dreamt? What? Well, I dreamt I was shipwrecked and was cast away on an island in the South Pacific. Gee, that sounds like fun. Wait till you hear the rest of it. On this island, they had great big palm trees. And you know what grew on the trees? Coconut? No, sir. These trees were just covered with beautiful, luscious, handy one-pound packages of Swift's Premium Franks. Gee whiz. All, all packed in cellophane? Yes, sir. For your convenience and protection. Gee. When I just lay there on the sand, and as the cool breezes fanned my brow, I reached up and ate eight to ten of those plump, delicious Franks made of all dinner-quality meat that you find in each package of Swift's Premium Franks. Mmm, sounds good. They were good, because the new sanitary flavor saver pack... Seals in all the natural goodness. Gee, but how'd you get off that island, Mr. Sherry? Well, Archie, as I munched on those delicious Franks, it suddenly dawned on me that I couldn't be far from civilization because Swift's premium Franks are always made close to where they're sold, in Swift kitchens from coast to coast. Gee whiz, I'd never have thought of that. So I took one last bite of the tender beef and juicy pork skillfully blended in one wonderful Frank and decided to explore the island. And sure enough, on the other side, I found a busy city and I caught a boat and came home. And that was the end of the dream. Gee, they must have been the Paradise Island. Yes, sir. But enough of my dream, Archie. Is there anything I can do to help you? Oh, no, Mr. Sherry. As soon as Betty gets here, I'll be okay. All right, Archie. I'll run along. I hope you feel better. Bye. Bye, Mr. Sherry. Archie, who was that? Mr. Sherry, Mommy. saw the lights on and he just dropped in. Oh, I see. Oh, that must be Betty now. Hello, Mrs. Andrews. I brought the five hyphen. Oh, hello, dear. Thank you very much. Hi, Archie. Hi, Betty. Mom, I want to sweet of you to come over, dear. Mom, I'm just... sorry I had to bother you. Mom. Oh, my but mom. I don't know what we'd have done without this. Mom, I just... Well, what is it, Archie? I'm trying to tell you. My hiccups are gone. I know, dear. And as soon as you take them... To... Your hiccups are what? They're gone. Oh, for pity's sake. Gone. Archie, are you sure? Positive. See? No hiccups. Oh, well, Archie, when did they go away? Well, I was listening to Mr. Sherry's dream, I guess. For heaven's sake. Betty, I'm terribly sorry, dear. It looks like you went to all that trouble for nothing. Oh, that's all right, Mrs. Andrews. That's how those things are. Well, I'll go home now. Well, thanks ever so much, Betty. Yeah, thanks, Betty. Oh, that's okay. Bye, now. Bye, dear. Well, how's he feel now? Oh, Betty feels fine now, and he didn't need the bicarbonate. Well, I'm glad something did, didn't need it. Yeah, Dad, the hiccups just went away by themselves. Archie, I... Oh, Fred, don't start any arguments at this hour. It's late and we have to get some sleep, so let's just go upstairs and get to bed. Oh, Mary, what makes you think I want to do anything else? What makes you think I even wanted to be awakened in the first place? What makes you think I... Never mind, dear, it's all over now and we'll be asleep in ten minutes. Hmm. You still feel all right, Archie, dear? Never felt better, Mom. All right. And go to sleep, dear. Okay, Mom. Night, Mom. Night, Dad. Good night, night dear. Night, night, night. Oh, me. I have never in all my days heard anything like this. 
The boy wakes up dreaming about Indians. He wakes you up. He wakes me up. He wakes Betty up. He wakes me up. Stop grumbling and turn out the light. Ooh, I'll be glad to. <laughs> good night, dear. Oh, good night. <laughs> oh, great. Barry, just listen to that. Listen to what? The water. Don't you hear it? Yes, it's dripping. Mary, I came to that conclusion <laughs> a minute ago. Well, pay no attention to it. Yes, dear. I mean, no, dear. <coughs> Mary, how can you pay no attention to that? That noise would wake the dead. Wait, you can hardly hear it. Well, Mary, it's loud enough to keep me awake. Then go shut it off. Me? Yes, you. You must have left it dripping when you got Archie that glass of water. But I... I uh, oh, me. All right, Mary, I'll go and shut it off. Or I'll be darned if I'll turn the lights on. Why not? Because the first thing you know, somebody will see them and we'll have visitors again. All night long, one thing after another. Up and down, up and down. All night long, up and down. <laughs> Oh, no, dear. The vacuum cleaner tipped over me. <laughs> what happened to that? I tripped over a vacuum cleaner that your mother left out as a booby trap. Fred, I didn't know such thing. But did you hurt yourself? Of course I did. Oh, my toe. Oh, my toe. Oh, dear. Oh. Archie, turn the light on. Okay, Mom. Oh, my toe. Fred, oh. stop groaning and let me see it. Dear. See, maybe it's broken. Oh, it feels like it. It's not broken. Well, it feels like it is. Yes, you just dubbed it. A yeah. little ice water will fix it up in no time. Uh, I hope so. A uh, little what? Ice water. I think... No, 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 Mary, Mary, wait a minute, wait a minute. I am not going to put this toe in any ice water. Well, Fred, you've got to. It'll get so sore and swollen you won't be able to walk for a week. But I... Now, just take me a second to get a basin of ice water ready, and you soak it for a minute, and it'll be good as new. Uh, all right, Mary, what's the use of arguing? When you decide I'm going to soak my toe in ice water, I might as well get used to the idea I'm going to soak my toe in ice water. Now, come on downstairs while I get the ice out. Well, how? I can hardly walk. I'll help you, Dad. Put one arm around me. All right, Archie. Atta boy. Now, oh. just take it easy. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Thank you. All I wanted to do was sleep, and now, look, I'm crippled. Oh, you'll feel better as soon as Mom gets the ice water, Dad. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. Oh, that'll make me feel just dandy, just fine and dandy. Yeah. There we are. Sit right here, Dad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my toe. Mary, I... Oh, no. She was. Now, who can that be? But I knew it. I knew it as sure as anything. The minute you turn the lights out in this house, it draws visitors like moths. I'll get it, Dad. She was Jughead. Could you expect the shadow? <laughs> <laughs> Jughead, I didn't expect anybody at this hour. What are you doing here anyway? I was on my way home from the movies. I went to the early show. Early show? How come you got out so late? Well, the picture had such an unhappy ending, I stayed a second time hoping it would turn out better. <laughs> oh, great. Gee, hello, Mr. Andrews. What are you doing up? Nursing a sore toe. Huh? I stumbled in the dark and hurt my big toe. See? Gee, that's the biggest big toe I've ever seen. Oh, fine. Except my Uncle Herman. Oh, me, Judge. He's got I... the biggest big toe of anybody. Yes, Judge. But, but that's because he's got bigger feet than anybody. Judge, Ed, will you please leave my big feet alone? <laughs> huh? No, I mean, forget about my feet. I... What are you shouting? Judge, what are you doing here? Well, he I saw the lights on and just dropped in. Gee, wait, Mr. Andrews, how did you know? Oh, I could tell. I could tell. Well, Fred, never mind arguing with Jughead now. Here's the ice water for your toe. Whose toe? Your toe. Mary, what am I going to do with ice water for my... Oh! Oh, you mean my toe. Yes, oh. I mean your toe. Fred, has your toe stopped hurting? I do. Uh-huh. Oh, for <laughs> Fred Andrews, do you mean to say that I went to all that trouble for nothing? For no I went... Mary, how did I know it would stop hurting? You didn't, but if it stopped so soon, it couldn't have hurt very much. Yeah. Mary, I tell you, it hurts like... Fred, let's not discuss it at this hour. 
Jughead, you better run along now. It's awfully late. Gee, you don't have to stop arguing on my account. Jughead, I... I like a good argument. Jughead, we are not arguing. And please go home. I can take a hint. Night, Mr. Anderson. Night, Mr. Anderson. Night, Arthur. Good night, night Jughead. Jughead. Oh, well, uh, I'm glad that's settled. Now, Fred, if you think you can get up the stairs without a stretcher, let's get to bed. Oh, now, Mary, I see no reason for sarcasm. Fred, right? I didn't mean to be sarcastic, but I would like to get to sleep. Me too. Oh, all right, let's go up and go to sleep. I don't believe it. No, I bet it's Jughead again. So what do you want now? I Hello, got... Archie. Aha. Oh, me. Is this any time to start giggling at people? Oh. Hello, Mr. Andrews. Hello, Veronica. Hello, Mrs. Andrews. Hello, Veronica. I hope you don't mind not dropping in like this, but I saw the Veronica, light. Veronica, if you say you're going to say you're going to say you saw the lights on and you stopped by, please don't. My goodness, how did you know? Oh, <laughs> instinct. Just pure instinct. Well, I just wanted to say hello, but you all seem ready for bed, so I better run along now. Oh, oh I... I'll get it here. Oh, Mrs. Andrews. Betty. Did I wake you, Mrs. Andrews? I... Oh, Veronica. Hi, Betty. What are you doing here? She saw the lights on and just dropped in. Oh. Well, anyway, I came back because my father woke up and can't get back to sleep and he wants to buy carbonate. Oh, dear. Did you uh, did you leave it here? Uh-huh. Oh, here it is, right on the hall table. <laughs> Wasn't that silly of me? <laughs> yes, Betty, very. But now that you... Uh, if this was a dream, I'd rather have Indians. Oh, I'll get it, dear. Hello. Oh, great. What are you doing back here? I got locked out of my house. Locked out? Yeah. I forgot my keys and my folks have gone to bed. And I didn't want to wake my father. He hates to be awakened. Oh, he hates to be awakened. Do you suppose, I suppose you think I like to be. I... Now, Fred, don't make a scene. Mary, I am not making a scene. Oh, like goodness, you. I didn't mean to intrude. Now, Veronica, you're I not... I have come over if my father didn't need the bicarbonate. Betty, I Have understand. you ever seen my father when somebody wakes him? Jughead, will you Fred, please... control yourself. Mary, you're on trial. Oh, Jughead, 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 Jughead. Look, Betty, uh, Veronica, Mary, uh, Jughead, will you please... Quiet! Quiet! Better. Now listen to me, all of you. This nonsense has gone far enough. Too far, in fact. Yes, Mr. Andrews. Yes, dear. So I may be expecting too much, but I went to bed two or three hours ago because I wanted to get a good night's sleep. But why can't I sleep? Why? Indigestion? <laughs> Don't you be quiet. I can't sleep because all night long, Archie with his dreams and Archie with his hiccups and Archie needs some bicarbonate. And all night long, Archie, 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 you'd think the boy was six months old. So, young man, I want to say to you right here and now that hereafter, if you can't sleep like a... Like, 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 Archie? Archie? Mary, where is the boy? But I don't know. He was here a minute ago. He's in the armchair. What's he doing there? <laughs> Sound asleep. Oh, no. what you're getting when you ask for Swift's Premium Franks. Made fresh daily in Swift kitchens from coast to coast, so you know they're fresh. Made by Swift, so you know they're top quality. Ask for them today. Swift's Premium Franks in the new handy one-pound cellophane packages. And while you're at your dealers, be sure to ask for Swift's Brookfield Sausage. Perfect for breakfast, ideal for a quick, easy-to-fix dinner. Swift's Brookfield Sausage is just right. Yes, just right. Not too mild, not too spicy, but seasoned to just right perfection. Ask for Swift's Brookfield Sausage, 
The sausage with the just right seasoning. And don't forget that your dealer has a tempting variety of Swift's premium table-ready meats. The handy, conveniently sized serve lot is being featured this week, and you'll find it just the thing for quick, easy-to-fix suppers, lunches, and snacks. <laughs> Now, back to the Andrews. It's a few minutes later, after everything has calmed down, including Mr. Andrews. The company is gone, and Archie and his mother and father have just come upstairs. Oh, I'm sorry we had to wake you, Archie, but we couldn't let you sleep in that armchair all night. Oh, that's okay, Mama. I wouldn't have any trouble going right back to sleep. Well, I hope not. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Good night, Good night, Good night, night son. Oh, well, well, maybe we can get to sleep once and for all. Yes, dear. Turn off the light. Oh, I am, I am. I have never seen such a night. Nor have I. Good night. Good night, dear. Mm. 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 Fred, what is it? Indians, Indians, millions of Indians. No, Indians. no. Are we surrounded? Fred! Wake up. Wake up. You've been listening to another chapter of the adventures of Archie Andrews, written by Carl Zampel and based on the copyrighted feature appearing in Archie Comics magazine. Archie is played by Bob Hastings, Jughead by Harlan Stone. Mom and Dad Andrews are played by Alice Sherman and Arthur Cole. Veronica and Betty by Gloria Mann and Rosemary Rice. This program is produced and directed by Kenneth McGregor. Listen next Saturday when Swift and Company, makers of Swift's Premium Franks, brings you more of the merry adventures of Archie Andrews. This is Bob Sherry wishing you all a very pleasant weekend. So long. Swift and Company invite you to stay tuned for Meet the Meat, which will be heard immediately over most of these sessions.